Can you hear me? Hi, 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 hi. A box, what could it be? <laughs> Yay! First day of school. Hey, it's Boxo. Boxo is gonna uh, annoy everyone a lot. Um, that's just a little taste. Okay, so uh, what is open animation? Open animation is a dream of you know a, a group of a group of us. It's been a dream of mine since I was a student of just finding something like an alternative to education and um, alternative to expensive schools of just learning on your own via internet. You know, it's like being that can be lonely, um, and I think that because of COVID, because of all of this, we're now realizing that like, okay, this is a possibility. Let's set up alternatives to education. Um, uh, our philosophy, uh, I do want to talk a bit about this, is that this place is not to get the job. We're not gonna be drilling you in terms of like, everybody's gonna be working, every, you know, this is how you get the, the job. This is about making stuff this is about supporting each other as artists, about supporting your own journey in terms of growing uh, as an artist. Making art is a perilous journey. Uh, we're all on that journey. So let's support each other, right? Um, and I think that that's what open animation is about. Uh, this is our first class. Hey, open animation, <laughs> intro to storyboarding. Uh, Jessica, uh, I, uh, we, uh, have known each other forever um, and you know what we're gonna get married real soon so uh, it it feels good enough for you that you could just eat this and you could sustain off of it but it's getting to the point where it's uh, I, I don't know if I can do it any longer uh, please please help um, but seriously shout out to all the students at CalArts uh, y'all are amazing um, uh, I'm gonna just say a little bit of my life stages also as an artist or just 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 to kind of like I uh, Didn't start drawing until I was like 18, right? I would kind of doodle in class But like really I took my I took a, an art class randomly uh, Intro to art when I was 18 uh, I I'm not uh, I'm not uh, Exaggerating is that I was I was bad. I was real bad uh, eventually, uh, I think I've found out, and that's my most recent stage. I am a butterfly uh, 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 emerging from cocoon. Um, and yeah, that storytelling animation is freaking amazing. And we are so lucky to be able to, I don't know, just explore it, just uh, find out about ourselves through this medium. Um, and I don't know, that, that magic of being a student uh, should always be there and uh, Basically, yeah, I'm ready to learn. I'm back in school, baby uh, <laughs> Right now this class is every other week and it's accessible um, You don't need to be here for the live stream. We're going to uh, put it up on YouTube it also be here on Twitch and um, Yeah, it'll be there for everybody uh, according to your time because again, we know Everybody's coming from different time zones and stuff too. Um, you have to teach each other. That's the foundation of this thing. It really, really is. Because again, this is free. We're dealing with uh, no money. So it's it has to be community supported. So let's talk these classes. There are gonna be 14 classes in this intro to storyboarding. Basically the first one through eight classes are gonna be storyboarding boot camp. Uh, we're gonna be drawing a lot. We're gonna be learning the 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 base rules of storyboarding It really is just kind of like hey, this is uh, going from maybe knowing nothing about storyboarding to by the end of it Feeling confident enough to be able to yeah, I know how to do a storyboard. Let me do a storyboard um, and and uh, We'll give you the tools. I think that that you all need for the introduction to storyboarding um, the next classes 9 through 14 are gonna be more about story uh, theory, story structure, um, just weird Tyler thoughts about what storytelling means maybe. All right, all right. Ugh. 
Class one, this is the first class uh, story. The never ending story. Let's break some ice. Uh, we're doing a class assignment. We're getting thrown in. That's right. Everybody's everybody's scared. Oh, oh dear God, no. Oh no. Teacher, teacher, don't pick me. Uh, <laughs> um, and this is kind of the first storytelling lesson is that we all tell ourselves stories in our head that uh, I can't do this. And especially with drawing, especially with storytelling, especially with being put on the spot. This stuff is scary. Storytelling and storyboarding specifically is, I don't know, you might think it's extroverted, you might think it's weird, but um, the reality of it is, is, is it's like, it's something freaking beautiful and it is something really, really cool and it's worth that uh, addressing of fear and maybe stepping forward and, and yeah, just challenging yourself a bit. Um, storytelling is scary. Uh, that's what makes it a good story. Huh? Uh, you know, it's that fearful cave. Uh, you've got a challenge, but you know what? Even though you're scared, I'm stepping in. It's nice. Uh, storyboarding is about making mistakes. It really, really is. Um, it's storyboarding is reboarding. That's like a term that's thrown out. Um, and I think that this has taken me so long to kind of, uh, emotionally accept that storyboarding is about kind of like messing up and not being perfect because I know that that's hard for probably all of us in terms of like the, the art world. Let's all take a breath. Uh, um, let, let that out. This is a supportive environment. It's about making mistakes. Um, and I am all here for bad drawings, for uh, just putting stuff out there and making stuff. Um, the supportive, collaborative, explorative, challenging, fun. I think that that's, that's, those are the feelings that we're really looking for. Um, so getting back to this in-class assignment, uh, tell me a story. Please tell me a story. Uh, draw something that happened to you today, right? We're, we're just breaking down our day. Draw something that happened uh, in your day. Um, there's a setting, right? It's that it's your life wherever you are right now. Maybe you were in a cool setting. Maybe you were at Jack in the Box. Maybe you were, uh, maybe you were, right, uh, somehow in a hole. I don't know. Uh, and then there's a character, that's you. So we have the two building blocks of a pretty good story so far. That was a crosswalk, right? That was outside, just a normal walk. Um, and uh, we know the normal thing of a crosswalk would be just walking across the street. So we all know that setting, but then there's a character and that's Goat. <laughs> Goat's a weird character. And that setting and that character made something amazing and that was a story uh, just right now uh we're going to just draw i think it i think it should just look like this um you know just like just draw kind of what happened today it doesn't need to be in storyboard format or anything um and yeah just uh take out some paper if you if you uh if you have it um if you're if you're working on a tablet that's great um, but yeah, just, we're just going to, uh, kind of mine our lives to, of today and draw an experience that happened, uh, to you today. I think of, it could be something funny. It could be something sad. Uh, it could be something dull. Um, but yeah, seeing some good, I'm seeing, uh, and this is the case, everybody. We're looking at them. This is this is supportive community. We're all we're all we're all uh, this is a safe environment. Yep. <laughs> this is awesome to see. Everybody, this is this is life. This is life. Assignment. Draw something that happened to you today. Uh, post office. Uh Sorry, you dropped your phone. Oh, that's so nice. That is the best one of the best life moments that happens is when somebody's like got your back. <laughs> Yes, I'm dying. <laughs> uh, see, this is gonna be the beauty of 
of these chats too. It's just like these, we can all go through these uh, at our own pace. Um, come back to them. Cause yeah, I want to see all of these. <laughs> these are all great. Uh, uh. <laughs> cool. Uh, there are a lot of people are, I have no idea how many people uh, are in, in this, but, and I don't want to know. Next up, right? We had, we had a character, we had a setting, uh, everything happened today and all that stuff is mineable. Uh, when I think of shows like uh, Seinfeld or, or right, like, um, yeah, uh, Curb Your Enthusiasm, like those shows are nothing, uh, yet the, it's everything. <laughs> it's, it can create the funniest stuff uh, in the world. Um, see, and now this is the next thing to think about is we have our setting, we have our character. Now let's throw in some conflict. Uh, there might not, there might have been conflict already. There was conflict here. Go shat on the road. Uh, that's a conflict moment. <laughs> um, uh, but maybe in your, in your individual space, it was just like a, uh, right. Hey, a super nice serene moment. You just sitting on a couch. That's what you did today. Um, and like, I'm here for that. I get that feeling. I think that that's a real feeling. But this idea of conflict being added to story uh, really spices things up and is like the secret sauce, I think, to um, to just storytelling in general is, is we're going to uh, we're going to um, talk about and kind of uh, dice. Yeah, just just feel conflict a lot and then the relief from it, you know, the like, oh, my gosh, that was so stressful. And then uh, relief. And that playing of it, ooh, storytelling. So let's lie. We're making a lie. Uh, add one lie to the story uh, to add more conflict, right? So, uh, yeah, if if you were eating donut holes today uh, and they were just good, uh, just add one lie that maybe could add a little conflict to that situation. Uh, it might make it dramatic, right? It might add drama to the situation or it might add humor to the situation. It might be a really sad situation of, oh, you know, in this situation, the lie was maybe um, I'm eating donut holes and, you know, it was the last donut hole of, uh, of you know, my mom. And that was something she was holding on to. And she's been having a crazy tough day and she started crying. Um, you know that 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 can be a super dramatic situation or there can be something funny there um so yeah let's draw that next thing um okay so adding that lie adding that conflict uh i you know i think in this situation it was like all right i'm shaving right before uh i'm live streaming and then oh there's blood uh, you know, I cut myself and it's like, no, 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 it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. But then no, you maybe start noticing that blood is leaking out of my face and uh, Yeah, that maybe I don't acknowledge it. I'm like, no, 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 that's not, nothing wrong um, That lie what could I think that that would be funny and that adds to my character that is, you know, a guy who's desperate uh, to just like no, 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 like uh, everything's fine um, and yeah, I think that that's like, that's a more interesting story. Adding these story elements, you had your character, you had your setting and just like a, 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 a lie, just something, an imagination that you add to that situation. Um, like that can really make that whole thing sing. That can be a whole story. That could be a whole episode. That could be whatever. Um, and yeah, let's see some of them. <gasps> Rumi walked in on me dancing alone. So I don't, I think that this was the lie is maybe the Rumi walked in, uh, but boy, howdy, right? Like the, you singing and dancing alone, uh, amazing. A beautiful moment, a beautiful weird moment of you. Uh, but then somebody entering that space, that lie, that is perfect. That is a perfect add of conflict. You can stretch that out to like a two minute, three minute long 
a short that I would just love of just anxiousness of like, what, what are you doing? What, what, huh? Where, huh? <laughs> and uh, yeah, I can or just feel the anxiety. Um, perfect. We, we're basically going through this, uh, this foundation of story, which is you got a set, you got setting, you got character and you got conflict. And all of these things are important. Um, I would argue that like character is my favorite. Character is, uh, I think is, is maybe most important. So, uh, this is the first class. Um, and we're going into, uh, a bit of why, why do we tell stories? This is, this is even further back. This is not storyboarding. This is going back to primal stuff. Right. This is uh, this is some ancient stuff. Uh, but why why humans? Why do we tell stories? I think it's the most effective way of communicating information. So I think a good example is, um, yeah, this video will talk about that. OK, so I think that the big thing to, to focus on there is this idea of like we have we have information, we have thoughts, right? And we have, and then we have feelings. We're we're uh, super animalistic. Uh, we have these two sides of kind of just being human, right? And uh, I think that that melding of kind of both of these things is is actually like um, something that that storytelling is is just like really really useful for. Part of this part of uh, this is the transfer of knowledge from generation to generation. Um, that's that's part of storytelling is we're passing down um, we're passing down things and our, our way of telling stories is gradually evolving a uh, hundred thousand years ago uh, humans were able to you know we we, gra we de developed the foundations of language uh, 27,000 years ago uh, the first cave paintings uh, we're seeing and that's communication that's storytelling um, we're trying to say that there are buffalo here there are these things here um, if 3,500 years ago uh, the first the first books a uh, hundred years ago just a hundred years ago we've got film this this effective this this storytelling uh, medium that has been uh, just so important to all of us in terms of learning about the human experience of what not to do of what to do of the type of person that that you might want to become um and maybe just how life works uh that's storytelling uh the last 10 years we got naruto baby emotions are the best vehicle for information uh we're born storytellers um and uh yeah let's watch a video that kind of ex talks about that so right, uh, that was just kind of talking about how um, we we are all instinctual storytelling uh, storytellers, and how 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 uh, much a part of it it is to just being like the core of us. It's it's biological, um, and in terms of it being shared just across like uh, every space and every of of the globe and every different group. In society and it just arises naturally um, and you know just on the other side of the world we're probably saying similar stories in terms of connecting um, and a lot of that is just about the the human about uh, about the human struggle about the the journey of, of dealing with the 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 insanity of of, of all this life um, and we can see that you know kind of in the hero's journey um, which is which is a concept in storytelling that um, Joseph Campbell is a is a person who kind of, who um, dissected all of these uh, different cultures just looking for for links in terms of common commonality of storytelling and uh, kind of what came about was this idea of the hero's journey which is um, you know we're we're searching for something uh, all of us are searching for something a, a space of growth. Um, and eventually, uh, we, uh, by, by confronting, uh, really difficult things, we can, we can actually, uh, grow, find the things that we need and grow as a person, uh, and become the hero, 
Um, so yeah, I would argue that storytelling is, it's the most important tool in human history. Um, and this video will help talk about that. This book is really, really great. Money, in fact, is the most successful story ever invented and told by humans. Because I'm just going to end it there on that on that shocking money's the most successful story ever told. You thought it was Ratatouille. No. <laughs> okay, so storytelling is incredibly powerful and it, it is just kind of like something that, yeah, it is like it's a way of almost controlling, right? It's it's a way of 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 um, we are uh, getting, you know, somebody else who is a different person to maybe think or feel the ways that I feel. And that's so weird. And that's so specifically human. Um, it's a very, very powerful thing. And uh, with great, great uh, power comes great responsibility. Uh, that's a cool story. Uh, whatever that is. That's a, what is that? Uh, peanuts. Uh, let's use our storytelling tools. So let's learn these powerful freaking things and use them um, kind of in our life for, for good. Um, let me also add that like, I'm not kidding. If you look up kind of videos on storytelling, um, most of them are like marketing videos. Most of them are like, hey, the most the most powerful way uh, you know to build your brand is through storytelling. And it's real. It's like all of these, like uh, in terms of people who are learning to tell stories, yes, it's artists, yes, it's stuff, but it's also just business people. It's it's we're we're seeing it in spaces that we don't even realize. Um, so let's learn these tools and let's let's learn them for good. Let's let's learn them from a space of empathy and connection uh, rather than manipulation. Uh, so going back to what happened today, right? Like what happened in your life today? Um, you know, we're you made me feel feelings, right? I now know you a bit better because you drew those drawings, right? You. Uh, you told a story to me and I'm now on your side, maybe, or I hate you more <laughs> or whatever it is. But uh, you played with my emotions because I'm my own thinking being, but your story communicated something to me. And go ahead, manipulate my emotions. Uh, uh, biological things are releasing, chemical things are releasing in my brain. Row, row, row. Uh, dopamine, oxytocin, uh, endorphins. Uh, I don't know if that's, maybe that's how you spell endorphins. But yeah, oxytocin, like empathy. Uh, I'm connected to you. I'm more on your side. Uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm in love with you. Uh, but then you can also affect my emotions in uh, the opposite way, in terms of making me feel anxious, in, in terms of making me feel mad. Um, and that playing that weird manipulation of emotions uh is a, a thing that i don't know we're we're all doing without us kind of knowing it uh we're all telling stories um going back to this idea of like manipulation right uh and i would we i think we could all are we could all say that like uh the stories that just try to manipulate you the the stories that like hey i know what you're doing um those stories aren't effective um the, I think the stories that are most effective are the ones that feel like, no, this is reality. This is what life is like. Uh, this is somebody else's perspective. This is somebody else's life. And this is just life being life. Um, and so when, when we get down to these ideas of emotional manipulation or just like storytelling, our goal isn't to like uh, be a puppet master. Our goal is to uh, reflect and to relate uh, experiences with life that like, yeah, that's how life is because that's what I'm going to connect with. Uh, animation, the illusion of life. Whoa. So with animation, uh, I, storytelling is really, really the goal in every part of animation, right? Uh, it's the, it's the freaking illusion of life. We're making, uh, we are but gods, uh, but we all have the same goal which is uh, to, to effectively tell our story 
and to uh, emotionally connect with somebody, right? Is to emotionally connect with the viewer. Um, so, right, story. What about, what about storyboarding? What about storyboarding? That's what this class is, right? Um, storyboarding, yes, I think is a really great, amazing combination of uh, the visual aspects, the, um, the writing aspects, um, the design aspects, like it's, it's this amalgamation of kind of a lot of stuff. And it really is just like trial and error and just trying to effectively um, communicate emotion and effectively uh, connect with somebody uh, in the best way possible. And your puzzle, your, your job is to like figure out that in the best way possible um, in an ideal situation. Um, but that sounds scary. That's a lot, right? That's a lot. That's too much. Uh, I know that when I first started storyboarding, like literally the first time that I saw uh, like this thing, this box, oh, scary. It's like, oh, I, I have to be within that box. What is this box? Um, right now, let's start simple. Let's get rid of that box. Oh, uh, don't worry about the stage yet. Don't worry about that box. We're starting simple. This is a beginning this is an intro to storyboarding uh let's just pay attention to the character right let's just pay attention to you yeah i'm talking you little guy that's uh learn there's gonna be a lot of different learns <laughs> i think it's kind of a race i don't know uh but yeah learn uh they can come in all shapes and sizes but yeah this is kind of going to be our base template of of character that we use to illustrate, I don't know, points. Uh, it's just easy. <laughs> uh, so this is your, uh, learns your most important storyboarding tool. Your first and most important. <gasps> Who, me? Oh, me? <laughs> yeah, that's right, learn. Uh, this is the most effective thing. We didn't have, we didn't have any, um, we didn't have any kind of camera angles or anything like that. We just had learn uh acting character acting with clear emotions character acting plus storytelling drawings is your first tool so get rid of the you see it um let's start with the pose though right character filled drawings um and this is this is what this is what our main tool that i think us as storyboard artists are actually working with is um is the actual acting um there's maybe this these three ideas of the of of a pose or uh specifically uh silhouette um which if you don't know the idea of uh, of a clear silhouette um there's great information here basically it's trying to make these drawings as readable as possible um so if if you can um, if you can fill in your drawing and still be able to see kind of what that character is doing and still get a feeling, um, then like you've done your job, you've, you've, you've created a clear silhouette. Let me just say that with silhouette, that's not like, not everything needs to be, um, just perfectly this or, or you know, this and, uh, and silhouetted, uh, you know, I think if you watch, uh, right, like specific yeah if you watch if you watch anime right right like none of that's none of that's really needed um it but it is something it is a concept that in terms of clear storytelling um it's it's just a concept to know and to understand like all these rules all of these things everything that i'm kind of saying is just like it's just um it's just uh they're uh they're not rules they're just kind of like tools they're just Things that you're gonna you're gonna accept or deny, um, but yeah, and that's maybe also where line of action comes in. So the idea of adding a line of action or your gesture um, can really just add life uh, to your drawings and to start to really really communicate that emotion. So it's not just a robot. Um, so that you're really really starting to communicate gesture, pose, feelings, um, and emotions. So Fluby Newbie is, a, is an amazing resource and we're gonna um, look at it a, a good amount. 
And I, uh, that's the beauty of the internet is that, hey, <laughs> this, this is kind of right. Uh, because of this, uh, we're, we're now, uh, you know, it's, it's making this class uh, easier, look at this stuff, and then somebody's gonna reference our stuff and boom, that's how hopefully education is, is maybe working. Um, another th great thing to look at in terms of gesture is Walt Stanchfield notes. And we'll, we'll put a link into these. And Walt Stanchfield was a, um, a Disney artist who taught gesture drawing and was crazy and wrote all of these, these thoughts down on gesture drawing. And um, yeah, uh, some of them are, are here. There, there are books, but these are free. Um, let's see, A Sense of Story. Uh, we'll, we'll post these up, but there's really, really great writing. And then there's really, really nice ideas in terms of how important gesture is, uh, how important kind of the thinking about uh, how, just just kind of like the, the, the emotions that kind of go into a drawing and that sense of gesture um, really, really helps uh, convey that. Um, so these are, these are absolutely amazing. And yeah, if you look at these drawings, these all have a, an immense sense of like, uh, you know, really great gesture. And there is, there is, there is silhouette. Um, and these are just clear storytelling drawings. Um, but yeah, I would argue that going back to kind of this, uh, this world, I would argue that these three things are important. Like I think initially uh, we have an emotion to convey for our character right and then we want to add that gesture we want to add that line of action um and then we want to add we want to try to think about the clarity of the silhouette in terms of that readable drawing um and even though that this is rough like if you zoom back you can kind of still see right it's still a readable thing uh i can still kind of make out right just like that feeling that comes in with just this drawing these drawings uh I found you. Oh, it's our favorite friend, uh, SpongeBob, the Square of Pants. Uh, this is a guide by Sherm Cohen, who I worked with before, who's like an absolute um, amazing teacher and uh, just like is so uh, so smart about like just clear. Uh, storytelling drawings and clear uh, cartooning. A big word in storyboarding and storytelling is clarity. Clarity, clarity, clarity. Um, that doesn't mean simplicity, right? But that means that you're you're effectively communicating to um, to the audience, and that's something that should be thought about um, a lot. Here are some great poses just that, that highlight line of action and um, yeah, just how how much like a bit of, of gesture can really, really just convey emotion, uh, which is amazing. Line of action, line of action, line of action. Yeah, I love this page, just push your poses. This really, really illustrates things. Uh, yep, just like uh, kind of flat, but then that that gesture, that gesture. This is dumb. This is dumber. This is dumber. Push your poses. Push your poses. Push your poses. Cool. Cl cl clarity. Clarity. Clar clarity. Uh, clarity is key, right? Uh, readability. Uh, conveying of like. Sometimes you want insanity, right? If you're playing with my emotions, uh, and you know, if you're if you're making me feel anxious. Um, but that's a, that's a clear decision is that that person wants to make you feel weird. So clarity is key to storytelling and we're going to be talking about it a good amount. Uh, we're going in our first assignment learns back learn comes in all shapes and sizes. Uh, draw a full page of learn character drawings, focusing on clear acting drawings. So you're wanting to use line of action, silhouette, emotion, right? So we're, we're looking for these three things. What, what, do we, what is this character feeling? Um, having, having some gesture and some line of action that, that uh, illustrates that and thinking about, uh, thinking about a clear silhouette and trying to not have tangents in your drawings. Um, 
Learns come in all shapes and sizes, so feel free to write. Uh, learn is just a, a base uh, and you can build off. Um, and feel free to add props. Feel free to um, feel free to have learn interact with things. Uh, but really, we're just like just make me feel things. Uh, make me feel for learn whether or not it's uh, pain or um, I want to laugh at learn or I want to cry with learn. Just make me feel. Um, and yeah, focus on storytelling drawings. We're not concerned, right? Get away from the idea. Let's let's take this off. Get, there is no line. It's just this vast space. We're all we're worried about right now is this these, these beautiful character acting moments. These real beings that exist. Learn is a real being who just wants to be loved. All right. Uh, resources will be posted, um, and yeah, that's the end of the class. That's the end of the class. You know what? It's a goat show. That sounded Prime weird. Time Prime time goatee. Come here, baby. Um, yeah. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for making amazing first class. Uh, this was super, super fun. Uh, I hope we all learn a lot. Again, I'm not the greatest teacher in the world. Uh, I don't know uh, everything. All of you, probably a lot of you j just draw way better than me, um, but we're all gonna be learning together and uh, storyboarding is about making mistakes. So let's make some mistakes together. Um, oh, Gary's in. He wanted to see what's up. Gary wanted to see what's up. Come on, 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 come on. Come on, come on, come on. Bye.